By two, free one. Oh, how can I resist? Oh, oh. Yeah, she caught a man in a weak position. Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia where we show you what it's like living and traveling in Asia. We're just coming back from home pro because our kitchen tap broke. It's sort no, of it's leaking broke. drops of water. Yeah, yeah Maya's getting all OCD about it. It's so, like noise. <laughs> we shopped and here we are at Big C which is literally right next to home pro here. It's, uh, where is this place? In this between Hui Kuang the, and Thailand Cultural this Center, is right? This the Terapise. Yeah. And we're gonna just do some grocery shopping because it is... Bakery! Oh, Songkran. And <laughs> Songkran is sort of like... <laughs> you're preparing for like an earthquake in California yeah. because... Mm, they have the <laughs> egg yeah. tart, right? Oh. Why? Anyways, we're gonna do grocery shopping, show you what it's like. Uh, Bixi is a is bit this? more like the Walmart here, where the prices are a bit cheaper than Tops Market, where we shop at, which is a bit more convenient. So, thought it would be interesting to have Mayu comment on all the prices and yeah. tell you if she notices a significant difference in prices and selection. Um, All right. We start with the basics normally. Where's the basics? This yeah. is starting. Yeah, this is a bit different because generally when we walk into a grocery store, they have the vegetable section first, but here it looks like the dairies and. Basics first, right? I think they oh, are more like. Uh, I don't want to bother the lady sweeping. But Mayu doesn't care. I can't. There's no space over there to go. Okay. So thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, you might notice that all these people are wearing these Hawaiian shirts. Hawaiian. Yeah. Some this fun is signature. This <laughs> Should I? It's not the traditional dress of Songkran, but it is basically the national dress for Songkran now. Yes. When you're coming in Songkran time, like around April, bring a Hawaiian shirt. Huh. What do you think, babe? Prices. No, I'm just started. I haven't looked at prices. Oh, you haven't started? She, she needs to get in the, get in the zone. <laughs> uh, the reason I'm not commenting is, as you can see, when we come to a grocery store, Mayu just sort of takes the lead and does her thing. I don't ask questions. <laughs> Isn't it a good place? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mushroom 18 baht. Yeah. I mean, to a guy, it's like, it's cheap or cheaper. It's like, it's already very cheap. We're talking about bots here now. It's not like, uh, is this like even the same brand? No, it's not. They have Big C brand. This is Big C brand. So. Oh. Is Big C owned oh by the God, same person that. that owns... Um... This one, this mushroom costs 59 baht oh. at the um, importier. Oh yeah? But the same Japanese mushroom. It's the same brand. Yeah, Hopefully. I should get from. Well, M Quartier, by the uh, way, guys, is gourmet market, which is definitely the most expensive. It may be smaller. I think it's smaller. It's on sale, usually 45 baht. I think it's smaller though. I think it's smaller. There's Maybe mushroom. the mushrooms shrink after a while. It doesn't babe. shrink. <laughs> no. It doesn't shrink. <laughs> they like shrivel up and die. <laughs> It's like the pre-supernova phase right now. <laughs> That's why they're selling it for cheap. It's old. Maybe. 
looks longer, but this one too. Yeah, it's a bit. Normally 59. That's normally 59? Yeah, at top two, I guess. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. Ah, okay. I like this one. That does okay. seem significantly cheaper. I mean, even regular price is 10 baht cheaper. Okay, I yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's only 30 cents, but these things add up after a while. Oh, they have Ooh, what is this, babe? Doink, doink, doink. Why is it yellow? Because they put in a color in it. They put color in it? Oh, they soak into this color. With no nutritional value. I guess so. Why would you want artificial yellow on it? I don't know. Huh. Well, Mayu is doing her proto shopping. We have to get what eggs. I generally do is go a here. check out the promotions, but I'm sort of lost right now. I haven't been to this big C, so I don't know how everything is set up. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I can comment on this. Uh, a little bit. Actually, I don't really drink that much, but I sort of know. Ah, taste of celebration. I guess that's not a bad price. A little less than $20. About $30, $40. Actually, that's about the same price as America. even a limited edition. I generally don't really even consider buying wine here because being from California just oh, the wine is just so so bad here and a decent wine is gonna cost you almost like 10 times as much so I just I just don't even bother because every time I drink wine out here in Asia I, I, I'm just disappointed that's that's all I can uh, express <laughs> the adjective that I'll describe my uh, for my wine experience out here is just disappointment. Uh, oh, interesting. So lately, you know, in Thailand we've been sort of uh, not given too much choice when it comes to beer because there's companies that just dominate the industry out here, but they've been creating more of this craft like ale and IPAs. I don't even know what this Brewed with roasted caramel and crystal malt. Oh my gosh, I think I want to get this. It's 53 baht. And no sticker. If there's a sticker, that means it's imported, so it's local. I'm going to get this. See how it tastes. Um, this. M brand by Sing. I actually tried this. It's not bad. Actually, I prefer it much better than Sing. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like that really generic, you know, Bud Light type of taste, you know? So, I'm gonna try this. But yeah, if you guys uh, are out here, you should probably try that M beer. I personally like it. Um, ooh, Soju has gone down in price quite a bit. Uh, this used to be like 180 baht when I first came out here, but it's gone down quite a bit in price. Konbet, grapefruit. Wait, there's 12% alcohol. It's only 95 baht. What? I don't know this brand though. This brand is produced by Thai Spirit Industry. <gasps> there's Thai soju now. Oh my gosh, guys. There's Thai soju. No wonder it's so cheap. But it says Kombe Soju Korea, KR. Oh. That's brilliant. You know, Thais are really, really into soju because you'll see Korean dramas and such, they promote it. I don't think they just, I don't think they necessarily promote it. Koreans just generally drink. They probably don't portray real Korean life as much in Korean dramas. <laughs> they probably, yeah, because they don't drink as much as in real life in the dramas, but they still have to drink because it's all part of Korean culture. 
uh, huh. sing water. I, th I think they just put it there, even though it's not alcohol, because Thais love to mix soda water with their alcohol. Which, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it's a thing out here. Generally, I mix, or Westerners in the States, we mix Coke with our alcohol. Or, you know, like an energy drink. Red Bull, or because Red Bull is so overpriced, Monster with vodka, but Thais like to drink soda water. Gosh, where is Mayu? Oh, I'm totally lost. This place is big, so the thing about Big C, unlike Tops, is they actually have a bigger section, just like Walmart, that is not food related. I'm gonna, ooh, ah. Oh. <laughs> I just see any woman with a white shirt and blue jeans and I think it's Mayu now. <laughs> uh, lots of teas. Oh, it's just, it's just uh, oh, it's so much bigger out here than tops. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, usually I, I can find Mayu. That's why we, we tend to separate, but here we're, we could literally get lost. My hill. Cuckoo! 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 My hill. You know what? She might still be doing produce shopping. Final my, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, babe. How long you take? I'm putting the. I have to check oh, the look way. at all this! How I mean, this egg, this egg is the same as what we have. The beta gro. Is it cheap? Mayu, is it cheaper here? I don't know. It doesn't mention the price. It doesn't mention the price. Eggs are generally not that expensive. We just buy them. Ooh, bananas! This is quite important. Like one of the most expensive things we end up purchasing are bananas in Thailand. And that just blew my mind because bananas generally just grow for free in Africa and such in this climate, but how much are the bananas? 29. For that whole thing? No. <gasps> That's very cheap. 28. 28? Like how much do we usually pay at Tops? We usually pay like 30 39. for one, right? Yeah, that's super cheap. I, I don't know. I think like, uh, what is the brand? Because I, I noticed that these American banana brands are out here. I think it's Chiquita or something like this, right? And they, they, they charge like American banana prices. And there aren't any other options. And quite frankly, I don't like the American bananas or American company bananas because you can tell it's doused with chemicals. It just doesn't even taste natural. But you, you pay like extra for these really big genetically modified bananas and you don't even have a choice for something like that. So that's something I don't really like about Tops. You know, they don't really have too many selections for bananas and that makes a huge difference because we eat a lot of bananas. Wow. What do you plan on making with all this, babe? Shabu? Sometimes shabu, sometimes salad. Ooh, they got organic. They got king organic. Is this uh, related to the king's project, do you think? I don't think so. <laughs> now, now, whenever we see king, Thai see like king or royal family, we associate it with really good organic vegetables because the the royal family has all these projects where they help farmers and and they they have really good really good uh, not only is it organic but good quality organic vegetables at relatively affordable prices oh, look at this oh, look at all these traditional snacks not expensive at all you know what I feel like these are almost better for presents and souvenirs than like the major 
markets like Tops or Gourmet, where they have the more mainstream. Snacks and such. Very local. I've never, oh, you know, I haven't seen these brands. Rice cracker with flossy pork. <laughs> Imagine getting that for your uh, friends back home. Even if it doesn't taste good, at least they'll uh, have fun trying it. Crispy sliced for pork, 165 baht, so it's about five dollars. Actually, that's not cheap, but it's it's like beef jerky, I guess. Beef jerky ain't cheap. Oh, these croissants are only about half a dollar. Not particularly cheap. There are some really great bakeries out here that I get my uh, pastries and such from and uh, I wouldn't get pastries at the market. So far how is everything? Huh? How's everything? It looks yeah. Everything what I need is that. Yeah, no, I'm talking about price babe. Price it may be slightly cheaper but I feel like maybe this full. About 10% cheaper or 5% cheaper? 5 competitive price, maybe. Oh, yeah? Garlic, 8 months. Potato? Wait, are we recording right now? Oh, yeah, we are. Huh? I mean, I don't know. Well, this is not bad. It's like 50 cents for 3 potatoes, right? 70 baht? No, that's a. 21. 21, so... Oh, sorry. I don't even know what kind of lettuce this is. Cabbage, not lettuce. Cabbage. Chinese cabbage, right? This is just regular cabbage. Oh, yeah? There's a Chinese cabbage. Oh, that's... That, there's your... Chinese cabbage. How much was this Chinese cabbage? Um, Twenty. So regular cabbage costs a hell of a lot more. Because this is 25 baht, about 60, 70 um, cents, and this is 21, about 60 cents. Ooh, it smells fishy, but look at that. I mean, if I was into fish, it's quite cheap. It's like a dollar, dollar fifty. I'm sure you're asking the same question. Is it for one or per kilo? So this, is, this is a problem. I feel like for everyday life in Bangkok, speaking Thai is maybe less important than reading Thai. <laughs> yeah, we have this issue. Mayu speaks Thai, but you think we just sort of have to guess. That, that must be per kilo, right? They never sell fish yeah. per one, would they? Per kilo. Per kilo, yeah. Oh, but pieces. Well, that one's more expensive. So... Each piece. Yeah. Well, actually, is it, is it per piece? I guess it's per piece. Oh, that one's the... per kilo. Per piece. It depends on the fish. This one's 105 baht per uh, kilo. And you can see that one is 49 per piece. Uh, I think uh, just understanding just some basic Thai writing actually would come in far more healthy, uh, like handy than, you know, speaking Let's Thai sometimes. Mom one. Mom one. I guess you should know things like pieces or per kilo or something like this. You can notice. Mayu knows uh, when it says free. <laughs> Yeah. She knows Thai for free, because we all like free. You should know free. <laughs> for, like the free dar is on for Mayu, like, hey, there's something for free. And then we're like, okay, let's figure out <laughs> what it is and try to get it for free. <laughs> oh, it's mangosteen season, babe. Yeah. How much is it? 
Uh, these are quite good. These look good. The th you're supposed to look for the one that isn't bleeding, right? Yeah, when you're getting mangosteen, if you see it bleeding juices, such as that, that means it's too ripe and it means it's a bit sour. What was the other thing? It has to be somewhat soft, right? A little bit. Yeah. Soft but not mushy. It's too young. Oh, that's obviously too young. I don't know how you get in here. You are from different world. We can, we can watch the expert here. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Too hard. Yeah, hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be a bit soft, like this good, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's still hard, so some part is hard. Some too good to make sure that Oh. Yeah, like this is soft. Yeah. Too soft. Soft. Oh yeah, that's too soft. Soft is okay, yeah. Yes. Too soft, but this is still not very, uh, not very ripe. So not very ripe. A little bit sour. Ah. So if it's so not. It's still soft, but it's sour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like this is very good. This is good. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Oh, it's oh, it's supposed to be really soft. It should be going in about yeah, maybe. Like this, yeah, like this. The color like this and the soft like this is very good. Oh yeah? See? Oh. So if it has inconsistent softness, like I feel a little lump there, he's saying it's not that good. So it should be consistently soft all around. It's almost like there's an outer shell and it should be able to... Oh, soft. This is all soft. Yeah, this is sort of inconsistent. Um, this seems like it's too soft. Wait! Oh, oh. Oh. I don't know, it's, it's too much pressure on me. I, I don't want to make the wrong choice. <laughs> I'll just let Mayu do it. Like, I don't like to do it. Like, cause, let's say I choose the wrong one and then we have a bad experience with Mangosteen. I, I, I don't know, I, I let Mayu make <laughs> the decisions on that. Because I tend to be more like, oh, it still tastes good, but if I choose it, Mayu doesn't like it, then she's gonna, you know, go, you chose the wrong ones, kind of thing. Huh. Ooh. So, guys, when you come out to Thailand, I do want to say some things that you don't really need to get are like these kinds of reusable shopping bags, uh, cheap kind of Tupperware, and cups because especially in these dairy areas they have promotions oh and bowls you know I don't really read Thai but you can sort of figure it out like this is probably saying they're gonna give you one bowl if you buy two sets of these fours I don't know I don't know you, I'm usually right though that that seems reasonable like if you buy two of these you'll get one bowl so me and Maya have a ton of extra bowls and cups and we ended up collecting like eight or nine of them and then sold it all at once on Bangkok expats <laughs> groups <laughs> like to someone who just came here because when I first came I went to Ikea and bought a bunch of cups so we had too many cups and such oh yeah so this is new too this is also by Singh I should do a side-by-side -side comparison and see which one's better actually I haven't had this U beer but now these companies are starting to push out different beers, which I like. Ooh, what is this? Siam Wisen. Rice berry beer. Ooh, the cheer selection range innovates the Thai beer by combining internationally recognized brewing standards and signature Thai ingredients. Uh, in Siam Wisen Beer, internationally sourced wheat, malt, and hops meet Thai lime to create a giant wall of flavor. <gasps> this is really good. Because in Korea, like the last year or two, they've been, there's been sort of this craft beer movement and you can get relatively great tasting sort of craft beer type of beer for an affordable price. Now we got that going on here. Cheers, extra alcohol. No, it just seems like it's 
Maybe I should. Is this Cheers? Mm, I'll get these three. I'm gonna put the other one back because it's cold. <laughs> it's this one's cold. That one's warm. <gasps> oh darn! I shouldn't have wandered off. I always do this, and I lose her. I'm like a little kid. You have to have a leash on me, otherwise. I get lost. But luckily I'm not like a kid because I can find Mayu. Where is Mayu? And luckily Mayu can be found because she's so friggin' tall. You just look for the tallest woman and it will be Mayu in most cases. Oh, there she is. There she is. You see that? See how like she just sticks out above the rest of the crowd? <laughs> Almost like half a foot taller than everybody else. <laughs> Babe. Wait, is that? That's not ours. Where, where's our... Babe, look. We have now craft beer. Only 53 baht. This one is raspberry beer. Caramel beer. And I don't know. This, this is just cool looking beer. I'm sure it's... So, I'm not a big fan of beer, honestly, but, uh, and actually this is just too big. I can't finish one of these. Not, not because I'm going to get necessarily drunk, but I just get very full, you know? Um, so I have to split it with Mayu, so I have to get, ooh. Oh. Salmon. Oh. Okay, I, I like this. Oh, Philadelphia. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm gonna have to ask permission from Mayu. But I'm almost certain she'll agree. Why do I need permission from Mayu to get something like that? You guys are thinking, be a man and just get it. Well, as a, I'm a man, but I'm an intelligent man, and I know if I get her buy-in on this kind of stuff, I also don't have to prepare it, you know, because that requires some preparation. You get Ritz crackers, you spread it and stuff. But if I get her buy-in prior to this, then she'll be preparing it herself. And she'll be excited to do it. And then all of a sudden, like a nice little piece of Ritz cracker with cream cheese will go in my mouth. Uh, we should try this cream cheese, babe. It's so good. I think you'll like it. Oh, is it good? Oh, discount, babe. Buy one, get one. I want a bacon and sausage. You, you want a baked sausage? Bacon. Bacon sausage? Yeah, just bacon, not sausage. Oh, you want bacon, not sausage. Yeah. But do we have sausage? Uh, no, I don't think so. Huh? You it's always good to have sausage want. laying around, even though it's a, now an internationally recognized carcinogen, because you can if you want to cook something want really sausage. quick, you can just throw it in the soups. Do we have any? You can get one. Yeah. We should you get one, right? It, yeah. yeah, we don't have any. I mean, all in moderation, guys. No, oh, I don't know what to get now. Both of them are buy one, get one free. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, what to get? What's better, this? Aroi mak mak. Aroi mak? Aroi mak mak? Aroi mak mak? Aroi mak? Cheese? Yeah. Oh, it has cheese. This? No cheese. No cheese. Smoked. Oh. You like this? You like? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Come and crab. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. This one has ham. 
Oh, everyone have one ham and one. Okay, might as well try it. You know, she, uh, I don't want to back out of it because we're so excited about getting this. I might as well try. Babe, this one has extra, we can make sandwich with it or something, right? Chili. Like a chili salami, right? No salami, I guess. What is it? It's ham. It can't be real ham. It looks like processed meat. Of course it's real, not the real Yeah. Ham. Then that's a salami, isn't it? I don't know. But this is smoked. Yeah. What are we getting? Are we getting cheese? Is there good cheese? Oh, look, they got guacamole. No, babe, 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 babe. You got to try this. Check this out. Three dollars for this. That, that one you're talking Yeah, this one. <laughs> What's inside? Green herb. Garden herbs. Onion twist. It's like basically spring onion Pringles. You don't like it, huh? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the green onions. You don't like green onions? No green onions. I like your sister. You want to get this? this Salmon? Original. No, this is nothing with salmon. I feel like it's the same price, huh? Because two of these equal one of those. Original, this has no flavor in it. Yeah. What is that? That has a... Uh, oh, it's just light. What do you think? You want to get it? Yeah, you can get it. You're not very excited about it. Because I have a real cheese that I huh? eat. I always eat real cheese. Real cheese? Mm -hmm. Remember yesterday I gave you the... Uh, no, yesterday? The day before yesterday, I cut it and then you said you want to eat it. It's cheese. You don't like those, it? Those kind of cheese, I love it. Uh, I love it. Oh my God, I Operation love it. convinced Mayu to make me Ritz crackers fail. I love this. Oh, that is pretty good. What the heck is that? Not until I love this one. I love this one. Not with really the cheese, the best. <laughs> is this cheese? Yeah. Where it comes from, by the way? What are you? What are you? Are you asking her to get her get you? Um, I love this. Where it comes from, by the way? Cracked pepper. Oh, this this is cream cheese. It's like about. It's definitely more than that because. I'm sure this is less of a quantity, but it does look much healthier and <laughs> Never the Japanese process cheese. I mean, sometimes I feel like we have more choices out here in Thailand because we are just mainly given American brands. These are all imported. Yeah, I mean, American import is just as expensive as Italian or European imports, so yeah. I've grown up eating Philadelphia cream cheese all my life, so I guess we could try something different. I sort of have this guilt, though, for having tried it and not buying it. <laughs> okay. You don't need to buy three pack of the ones for the side. Oh man, it's particularly harder for men because generally these these uh, people that do the sample are like you know young, younger girls. Yeah, part time worker. I, I I don't know. If it was if it were if it were guys then I would probably be more unemotional about it. Why don't you take this one? I guess this looks better. Both sausages. You you can get that. She says that's a cheese one. See th here again. I, I choose based on emotions like the lady sort of This is cheese cocktail. You want a ham and a pepperoni in it? But why is that one 99 bot and not 59? That makes no sense to me. I guess this one is 165 gram. This is 110 gram. The black one is 60. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Just get that. Yeah, just get it. No choice. If you cook sandwiches by yourself, you can get it, but you're gonna ask me to. 
<laughs> Mayu knows exactly what's up. Yeah, I'm not gonna cook it. <laughs> Why? There's a Korean thing. What is this? You never had this? I'm sure we had it when we were in Korea. Lotte. No, this is Korea, the coffee flavor, so you don't. No, but you. I probably had that one, the milkshake. We, we, we can eat a bunch of this when we go to Korea. We actually found the uh, uh, ice cream wholesale place. <laughs> Remember? Uh. I want to go back to there again. We didn't uh, make the vlog on that yet because our viewers don't seem to be as interested in our Korea vlogs, but... They uh, say have a sale. Sale is know, here. Maybe one day. Oh. oh my god, this is 69 baht. How much? How, when 69 is baht? 89, I'm sorry. 89. But that's that's good. This is... <gasps> if it's coming France. like this... French cream cheese? It's not cream cheese. It's camembert. Okay. Camembert. Cheese. I don't know. Mayu took French. I, don't, I didn't. I have no idea what camembert is. Um, it's a spread, right? This is not spread. It's cheese. Real cheese. Oi! I mean, we get that all the time. Okay. Do we? Oh, oh we, we have the Bulgaria yogurt thing, right? Yeah. We always get Bulgaria yogurt. They, they have a free bag. If you purchase 159, you get a bag. <laughs> it's usually me Milk that's uh, convincing my to because Lately, you are blogging. So many this bags. is the blogging, so you have to tell the truth that you are crazy about free stuff. <laughs> I'm crazy about free stuff, yeah. Uh, but it's gotten to a point where we have just so much. Hey, babe, you said you, you need a new bag though, because the last free bag I gave her it sort of started deteriorating. No, I used my sister's bag. Right? Now you're using your sister's? I don't want to carry the milk bag. <laughs> it's so cute. Nelek Mac Mac, look. Milk white skin. <laughs> Oi, I see why this is a. Uh... I don't know. Um, you go that way? This way? Oh, maybe you guys want to know this. So, how much is just regular tub? Of ice cream, Thai. So we do have cheap ice cream out here too, which Mayu would never ever get. But it's only like a dollar thirty. The heck, sugar palm. I used to get stuff like this all the time. And just when I'm sad and depressed, I'd be uh, sitting in front of a TV, <laughs> one of these and a ice cream <laughs> scooper, <laughs> which. Uh, Probably isn't that healthy for you. Oh, this is a popular brand, but I don't know. It is sort of cheap, but it doesn't taste any worse than any other cheap brand of ice cream, I guess. So you do have that, those of you who like to. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? See, this, this is this is when I start buying stuff. It's coming in nice bags. <laughs> Babe, do we need ice? Uh, do we need? What do we mean? We always drink this. Is that this milk is or yogurt? I mean, if you're gonna buy it, because we buy it anyways, might as well get it when there's a promo. Now you're like, oh, what are you gonna do with this useless kind of bag? Well, as you saw, my condo is super small. I tend to find a use for every bag to organize my stuff. Last time I got that bag, I remember what I did was I had this little drinking game where you put knives in a barrel. It's almost like the game where you have the crocodile and you touch the teeth and it snaps on you, but this one, you keep pushing it until you, know, you hit a mechanism and then the pirate pops out. And it had all these pieces. 
I stored it in there, and now it's it's not all over the place. What are you talking about? Mechanism of what? We didn't get any seafood. Huh? We didn't get any seafood. Do you need seafood? We just do we, we always? Do get a shell, but I didn't see the shells that I like. Shell. Not the one giving you, not the one gives you <laughs> diarrhea. Shell. Shell gives you diarrhea. No, no, that one on the right side. That oh. is diarrhea shell to me. What do you mean diarrhea shell? What is this? This is the first time you told me about this. Oh, this is. I think Koreans call it hong up. This is the one calling. Food in Korean term diarrhea because shell. I only hear my mom talk about them. So hong up tang. Like to make. Soup with it. Only two dollars. No, this is not what I want. We like to also get these uh, crabs. Let's cook. And, and then we we cook it with uh, Korean noodles. Tastes really delicious, actually. Uh, we we did um, actually we already did a cooking with the uh, Korean noodles with the blue crabs. If it's still up, it is for our 100 subscriber celebratory video. Believe it or not, it seems like it's possibly a long time ago because I have you know more than 32,000 subscribers, but it's only been like a year and a half, yeah, ago, where I was celebrating 100 subscribers, guys. So we did this celebratory cook-off because we can finally get a channel name and I can name it Live Travel Asia and we cooked uh, oh my gosh I, I shouldn't be eating that because I'm gonna have to convince Mai to get it uh, what else we have to get Snacks. oh okay now this is like the stuff you'll see at the other places these major dried fruit brands Actually, it's not that bad. You know what, the other 40 baht? I feel like this is much cheaper than... 350. Oh yeah, I was about to say, oh, okay, it's 40 baht for that. 350, it's like 10 the bucks. The other day, I, went, I had um, the dragon fruit, dried dragon fruit. It was really good, I want to eat it again. It? Dried dragon fruit, it's huh? It's sweeter than actual dragon fruit. And really yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I can try, but I cannot resist. That's the problem. <laughs> I can try. I cannot buy. I can try, but I cannot stop feeling bad. <laughs> oh, look, Korean uh, snacks. I'm not gonna be buying any of these because I'll be enjoying a bunch of these when I go to Korea. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, babe, we did get a good price because we paid one fifty, right? Two twenty. We paid two twenty over there at the Korean market. So this is the same price as Korean market. Oh. Okay. I should get one for because I have a lot of. So Korean market isn't all that cheaper. Which I imagine probably is true it's because... It's expensive, it's expensive. I asked my friend to get me the flea packet this time. Oh yeah? Jam what are Korean seaweed? Oh my seaweed, gosh. Babe. Seaweed. Babe, we're gonna go to Korea in but a, a month. But a month later, babe. We're not well, it is on sale. What's that for 49 baht? We love seaweed that one of these only lasts us like one meal. <laughs> Maybe two last uh, three meals. <laughs> it tastes so delicious to wrap the rice in it. Look, babe, there's a cockroach. Just you eat like snacks. Yeah, I do. Once once we open one, I just keep eating it. Yeah, my sentiments exactly. Oh, but I won't get one. What is that? An oh, Ansong Tang Mian. Mm, it's just standard. Wow, but Korean noodles have been getting expensive even in Korea. 
so mm, I don't really know what the going rate for Korean noodles is anymore. But since I'm gonna go to Korea, I can resist. We we buy so much every time we go to Korea. We buy literally like a year supply. But it's it's like a meal supplement to me. When I feel lazy, that's what I'll cook. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll throw in the leftover rice that's in the freezer. And there you go, you have a good meal, you know? That's how I survive. <laughs> Before I met Mayu. <gasps> Ooh, babe! <gasps> Bulgaria healthy box. How many? You gotta get four. <gasps> Do we, we have one right now, right? We only have two left? All right, we're getting it. Uh, okay, one pack? I think you gotta get four packs. One, two, three, four. Usually they show you how, the picture of how many you need to get to get one. We don't need it though. Yeah, we what? don't need the more the Tupperware. We have no space to store it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not no. that we don't need four packs of these because, no. you know, we eat one of these a day. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one week supply, really. But my <laughs> doesn't want to find space for my uh, <laughs> Tupperware hoarding tendencies. <laughs> uh, actually, now we have a lot of Tupperware. Before we needed it, but <gasps> ooh, ah, ooh, what is this? I get so excited in the snack section. Banana pokey. Exclusive for big card members. 200 baht. <gasps> 200 baht. One, two, three, four, five. This is a 20 baht per each, meaning 50 cents per each. Meaning it's not all that cheap, actually. I don't. I don't I'll get sick of it after I eat about two or three of them. Ooh, babe. <gasps> Madame Hangs. Is this cheaper than Tops? Yeah, it's 35. It's 35 there? No, but this is not what you like. You like the mint one. Yeah, I like the mint one. By the way, guys, out here, um, we started using this Madame Hangs soap, telling you you should try it. But you should try the. I think a, there's different ones. Guys, they have a cologne version, but I personally like the mint one. Once I shower with it, I feel all minty fresh. Yeah. <laughs> My butt butt feels fresh. Uh, but they use natural you ingredients you and such. Feel fresh, the body. Your butt butt fish. Yeah, I like I like my butt butt to feel fresh. So when I sit down, I have freshness. I don't know this one. My Chinese friend is this one. But this is what you like, babe. Right? Oh, 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 I was looking for this. Oh, this is so bad for your teeth, but it's so delicious. This is bad for your teeth. This is too big. Too big. You should buy the tiny one. Okay, 18 baht. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. You want to get the small one? Corn, watermelon. But you have to, it's 100. Strawberry. Grams, Strawberry. Grams. Watermelon. Banana. Yeah, but taro. I like taro. Flavor. I don't see taro. I don't even see strawberry. You just have watermelon and uh, corn. I want something a bit fresh. I want something a bit sweet. I think Big C is better for souvenir shopping, guys. Oh. Uh, then let's get that instead of the corn. Because then they're both like two milky sweet flavors. I want one sour. I even think like a Korean when I buy snacks, you know. Koreans cannot have just one flavor. We need all different varieties of flavor. <laughs> I have to have different varieties. We have a Thai tea. Oh yeah guys, this is a very popular gift. Thai iced tea or Thai tea, milk tea, but this comes with the mix. So when you see three in one, that's the one you most likely want to get, unless you want to get the, you have to get the filter and then you have to you know, do all sorts of stuff. It's sort of a pain. So if you're buying it for a gift, buy that one, although it's slightly more expensive, but 
<laughs> this is my sister food. At the end of the day, it's only four bucks. There's one. Coke is very popular. If you guys have never tried this, this one, you should try it. Two. Huh? This my sister loves. Oh, this Mayu one. likes that, but I think it's too sweet. It's like chocolate it's covered. It's not chocolate. It's not sweet. I think it's sweet. Chocolate covered coconut um, milk. Ooh, what is this? Thai legend chefs. I guess this is good if you want to. It's all applies for you. 95 bucks. Oh, but, but this is one of those things where you just heat it up. And put some veggies in it. And put some veggies and then you're, you're done. Yeah. It's all done for you. There is a... Um, you know, if I think about it, I think it's overpriced. Maya thinks it's overpriced because we would rather go through the labor of cooking it and maybe even enjoy it like Maya does. But, you know, if you're gonna give a present to I've someone... I've never seen this, right? What? Those still have a new flavor. Oh, yeah. Mayu likes this brand. She likes the crab flavor. But we got... It's hey, buy to get one love. free. <gasps> buy to get one free, babe. Uh, they are so clever that they have three different flavors and they advertise buy to get one free how could you resist not getting three colors of the rainbow <laughs> i fall for your marketing strategy <laughs> Ooh, what is this what is this Oh, this is uh, already existing flavors, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah? What the heck? Oh, this is a salted egg. I think they're buying into this salted egg craze from social media. I'm personally not a fan of salted egg, guys. But I know, I know like the Chinese people are really into it. They grow up eating salted eggs and oh oh so this is uh the most hottest talked about topic buy two free one buy two free one oh how can i resist oh, yeah she caught a man in a weak position okay uh I can do this, this, and which one? This. Oh, everything. All right. I'm gonna just sort of try to sneak this in, but I do want. Oh, you got the one spoon. You got it. Babe, this is like supposed to be the most disgusting lace flavor. I want to do a food reaction on it. So this has, you know, we just had the Thai elections and such. But when I ask my students, what's a hot topic, you know? Uh-huh. This is the hottest topic. Yeah. So this week, you know, how have you been? You know, I always start my conversations with that when they come in. How have you been? How's your week? And then I make them talk. You know, I try to ask open-ended questions to talk. Um, and that is what most of my students started to talk about. I went to 7-Eleven and I saw, you know, because I, I, I gotta make them use past tense to practice past tense, and I saw, <laughs> ooh, what is this, squirrel? Hey, there's a coconut? Sorry guys, you guys missed the most amazing moment when Mayu started pulling somebody else's car. <laughs> oblivious to the fact that somebody else <laughs> so busy talking that this guy had to like <laughs> excuse me and then <laughs> our battery died uh, sorry about that so oh that was the best moment uh, at least I still have the sound clip I might just throw it in there we can get my sound reaction <laughs> oh my god babe Kona krab, by the way, yeah, that's quite a boring. Kona krab. 
Is it Kona crab? I know I say it wrong. I know if I say it, they understand it though. Tor, T O R. Tor na crab. No need to say na. Koto crab. You will say Koto crab. But if I say it, sound it doesn't sound like what they say. So when I say Kona crab, which is what I hear, they understand. <laughs> you have to say T O R. Koto crab. Koto Koto crab. T O R. Koto crab. But I totally hear Kona crab. But I think I'm saying it in the in the right tone, so they understand it. You know. Sometimes when we try to say it with the right pronunciation, we end up screwing it up. But when you just say it like how you hear it, they tend to understand you better. So it's like Kona crab, and like I say it like N A. You know, the X, the intonation on the K. Yeah, and crab, Kona crab. Yeah. Um, I think that's all for me. Oh yeah! Ooh, babe, babe, look at this cute Molly, Molly cup. This sort of looks like uh, that that girl, the Japanese anime. Yeah, right. <gasps> and, and we always got at Molly juice. What do we have, Molly? Coconut water. Where's the cocoa? 118 baht is not hard to do because they priced it exactly so that if you buy two, you get 118, right? Usually they, you know, they're they're clever about this, and then they don't let you do that. You have to get like three or four. It's like usually like three and a half that will get it for you, and then you end up getting four. It's fifty nine. Yeah, where's coconut water? We always get coconut water. But I like pineapple juice too. Do you want to try something different? We're so routine about this. Pomegranate, or as Mayu would say, pomegranate. Pomegranate. Coral granite. It's a it's a little throwback to our first Chiang Mai vlog, where we'll go to it was Wat Chiang Mai. It was Man. a tree. Wat Chiang Mai. I still remember it. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Coral granite. Oh, coral granite. Where's the Mali? No, no, I don't want to pronounce it again. Why oh, don't you try, babe? Coral granite. Can you say pomegranate? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, uh, cornflakes, cornflakes uh, cereals. This is quite important for us Westerners. I'm sorry to report it's not as cheap as America, but lately, you know, I went back about two years ago. I noticed uh, cereal prices have gone up there as well. But something like this. Uh, it's hard to tell what. Oh, 180 grams. You know, I don't know how much 180 grams is in. I don't know. What do we measure in America? I don't really. I just know the sizes. Hey Siri, can you convert 180 grams into imperial measurements? Oh man, it's gonna give me a whole web search. Do we go pounds? I think we go by grams if it's this small actually. Ounces? Do we go by ounces? Oh guys, I'm just gonna have to ask you to convert 180 grams. Two dollars, that's roughly about what it is. Mayu's over there, looking at the milks. I could swing around and show you like the other big actual cereal area. And oh, so they have Nestle is big out here. Again, like 70 baht for about two dollars. About the same size as 180 grams. Uh, I don't want to waste time because I got lots to cover. 79, it's an extra 10 baht because it's Kellogg's. It's all, it's all about there. Um, so, for us adults, I've been lately buying stuff like this, Nature Sensations. It's actually quite good, but 265 baht is like, oh man, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 dollars. 
It's quite expensive for cereal. Uh, oh, another thing. Out here you'll see muesli. It's not like some strange new thing, but um, Americans call it granola. Apparently, I know at least the Aussies, they call it muesli. Oh guys, I tried this. You know, it's relatively cheaper, 200 baht. Actually, it's, it's quite heavy. It's like packaged so that it maximizes it. It's from Germany. Unfortunately, it tastes pretty bad. I, I don't like it that much. I tend to get this and then mix it with cornflakes and such. You know, because I just want to get through it. But I don't think I'll ever buy it again. I have not seen this brand. Five dollars? But you guys sort of get an idea. That's what it is. It is what it is. <gasps> Ooh, this thing tastes so good. By the way, it's a secret... Um, secret uh, drink at 7-Eleven. You say, I want Nesvita, and then they will give you a Nesvita smoothie. <laughs> Just try it out the next time you go there. You get mad respect from locals. They're like, what? You know this? It's like, yeah, I like Nesvita. You know, impress your women. Go to 7-Eleven and ask for a Nesvita drink. And that's when you get mad cred for being local. It's like, how do you know Nes Vita? Oh, sorry, excuse me. Most Thais don't even know the Nes Vita secret. You know, it's almost like going into In-N-Out and ordering animal style fries. Only those who know know. Oh my gosh, this, this is, <laughs> I'm getting a flashback. This feels like Walmart for me right now. Like all of a sudden getting stuck in the women's underwear section and feeling completely out of place. Where, where, where is Mayu? I lost her. She was here last time. Uh, baby formula and milk. You know, I used to get this soy milk quite a bit. It tastes so delicious. And it would almost be like a meal supplement. And it's very cheap. But I've learned that, number one, there's a ton of sugar in it. Number two, soy is apparently not good for the man. So, I uh, had to cut that out of my diet. Ooh, this is really good. It's about the same price at Tops as well. But particularly their tomato juice. Super natural. It's the best tomato juice I've ever had. I kid you not guys, you gotta try. I forgot, it's called doi, doi kam? Doi kam? I mean, you don't even see the actual American, I mean, <laughs> English writing of the brand. But that's, I think it's doi kam, doi something. It's good, it's legit. You'll thank me later after you try it. But as far as coconut water, it's all about the same. I just sort of get the one that's on sale. Like right now, Mali is on sale for 59 baht. Ooh, you could get two of those and get a cup. Oh, but I saw how much stuff there is in there. And if it was next to my place in RCA, I wouldn't hesitate. But I still have a long ways to drive in my motorcycle. I mean, I do have a method of carrying all this. You're wondering, how the heck am I going to carry all this on a scooter? Where there is a will, there is a way, but... Oh my gosh, guys. I'm, I'm not... Oh, I'm, so, I'm so lost. You know, I think... Okay, let me think. If I was Mayu, I would just go and check out. That's what I think she would be doing right now. So, I'm headed there. Oh my gosh, I hope my lav mic wasn't getting scratched. Uh, going, going, going. Did I get it right? Is Mayu checking out? Mayu! Oh, by the way, this is something you might want to know. 
detergent. It's about five dollars for this big pack right there. <sighs> it really is relative to how much you do laundry. For Mayu, it lasts like two months. For me, it lasts half a year. Oh. Ooh, you found the Anseng Tamyun? This one, two, two, two for forty, right? Yeah. No, but this is this is not like the special ones. It's just <laughs> your standard Korean noodle. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, because for standard two Korean noodles, you can just get the Mama version, and it tastes just the same. So, little wow. life hack, guys. When you're going wow. to like your standard Anseng Tamyun, your Shin Ramyun, like your regular Korean noodles, not like the newer. Super wow. crazy, like delicious Korean noodles that they've been coming out with. Then I would just get <gasps> what is this? The Thai Mama version. What is that? It's like a the food for the fish. You know the reason we didn't notice this, although we were here, is because this is right where <laughs> Mayu got hit up for pulling someone else's cart. She was so embarrassed she got the heck out of here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a place. Eh, eh, eh. You want to get something though? No, we have too much, babe. Look at all these snacks. Do you want to get two cocoa mats? Yeah, and then a cup. You got, you got the cup. Good. Yes. Where did you find this, by the way? I'm gonna go back and put it there. Oh, babe, this is a singer I like. In Kwarang Thorn. Right? Oh. I like this song. In Kwarang Thorn. So I guess um, even old school when it comes to my taste for Thai music, because I was talking about music with one of my students. She's, uh, how old is she? She's like 17, about to go to college. And she really, really loves K-pop, right? And I was talking about, you know, I sort of like BNK more lately. And she's like, oh, teacher, BNK is not good, blah, blah, blah. You know, K-pop is better. I don't know Big Bang. <laughs> I don't know Big Bang, yeah, she even said that. I was like, what the? But then I'm like, yo, oh, do you listen to Thai music? I was like, yeah, I used to. And I'm like, oh, really? Who do you like? And then she mentioned some guy that I totally don't know. And then I said, she's like, who do you like, teacher? And I'm like, ooh, I like Slot Machine. And she knew Slot Machine, at least. And I said, and I also like Ink, Wad, and Thorn. And then she's like, what? And I'm like, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. Ink, Wad, and Thorn. <laughs> you know, it's like, Definitely you pronouncing it wrong. I'm, I'm pronouncing it like it's spelled, though, you know? So then I pulled her up on the YouTube. And, then and she got it? She still didn't know. Oh, okay. In there, she doesn't know. It. And I'm like, gah. Uh, my taste in Thai music is uh, ancient as well. <laughs> Ooh, that's so cool. I like it. This styling. All right, time to checky checky. Aww. All the cast registers are uh, are wearing some cron. Makes you happy, happy. Is this okay? No cash, okay? All right. Mayu uh, needs to do a credit card. She's been racking up credit card rewards. I know how to say that. You know how to rack them up, but she doesn't know how to spend them. <laughs> she has all these credit card rewards and... But, no, I know that now I can use for the movie. Yeah. Even the most... Well, that's because, yeah, that's, that's Lay's. You gotta buy it. Expensive time, like 240, you can still use uh, 1,000 points. I wonder how the damage is gonna be. Okay, guys, you'll see. This is quite important, babe. Put all the, the heavy stuff down there. Actually, we have a lot of 
We have a lot of um, delicates today. What is delicate? Like things that can be crushed. Usually I'll have like a big six pack of one liter water bottle and such, but here no. Today no. Yeah. So now you're seeing what we purchased. This would be pretty typical of what we buy. Not this much we got a bit more snacks, but as far as the end result, the price, it should be about the same because we didn't get water. Water, like uh, six of those one liter bottles, is going to be about 80 baht. We buy it on sale. We buy whatever's on sale. And we only buy mineral water. We don't get like the distilled water. So... I would say it's about the same price. We probably got about 80 baht more worth in snacks. So expect this price. How much do they Oh babe, why did you only take out your thing? Could you take out my... or our shopping bag? It's quite important. So you guys all know I, I drive a pretty much standard scooter. A Honda Click. It's pretty much the national more like transportation out here a Honda Click and it has a little undercarriage quite important because that's where you can put like these shopping bags and I found because I've tried lots of them Ikea bags and such but this Amazon bag which you can't really get out here obviously the grocery one it's perfect it's perfect it not only protects you from the outside elements when it's raining it covers this width and the size is perfect for fitting in the undercarriage not too wide not too long just tall enough so that's what we do ooh babe we don't need to get we don't need to get too many plastic bags you know you, you guys are like hating maybe some are going why are you getting all these plastic bags you don't need them actually we do <laughs> why would we need them because we don't buy trash bags out here in Thailand. So we need a little bit for our trash. So right now we are short on them because we haven't been getting them for a while when we thought we had too much. So now we are collecting them so that we have trash bags. Which means when you come out here and you're buying a trash bag, buy a trash bag this size. Don't waste and pollute the world by buying the American size trash cans and then buying huge trash bags, you know, when you can just reuse these shopping bags. Oh, where, where did Mayu go? God. Oh. Huh. All right, guys. So this is gonna take a bit. I'm gonna sign off now and uh, let you know how we're gonna get back. All right, guys. We finally got the receipt. 1,249 baht. Oh my gosh, how much exactly is that? Hey Siri, what is 1,249 divided by 32? So that's about $40 for all this. <laughs> it will last us... Uh, you can't really say that's a week's worth of groceries, but we shop about this much somewhere from 800 if it's low to about i guess we could even sometimes go down to 700 but usually about 800 to about yeah 1200 today was sort of on the higher end i guess yeah but 
I mean, we will probably take at least a month or half a month to eat these snacks. But then we'll be getting other kinds of snacks too, so. <laughs> uh, it's hard to say, it's hard to say. It's uh, hard to break down the cost of living, but I can assure you that we spend, yeah, 700 to 1200. I've, I've never really gone up. Have you ever gone up ever? Like above? What's the highest we've ever spent? 1,800, I guess. 1,800? Yeah, when we went to Suvay shopping, we bought like banana, uh. those banana boxes, and then honey, so like big bottles. Uh. And stuff, you know? Uh, souvenir shopping, oh, yeah. It's not in groceries. Yeah, when we went grocery shopping, I think the most we've ever spent is like 1,400. Yeah, 1,500. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, especially because we're limited by our motorcycle. We can't even get that much, yeah. So that's what you can expect to spend. And obviously this is for two people and we tend to cook home most of the times. So that's why. Oh, but then again, we're, we're sort of working people, so I guess if you're retired and staying home all the time, you might need more. But you'd probably then go to like a local market, you know? Well, we tend to go to these places because it's convenient. It's faster and we don't want to walk around where it's hot. It's, it's sort of like a quality of life choice. Not having to deal with the heat. We're probably paying a premium of about can we have your... Um, 30%. The receipt? Maybe I have to... Here. Oh, validate. Alright, so we're getting the receipt validated so that we can get parking for free. Oh, you want to eat something here? Huh. Yeah, generally these places have food courts. They're super local food courts. Uh, I'm not really feeling Thai. Let's see what they have though. I want to eat something healthy. I don't want something... I'm not saying that Thai isn't healthy, but generally Thai food out here, just like, you know, restaurants in America and such too, they tend to use a lot more salts and spices, which generally isn't good for you. Oh! That looks good though. Oh man, it's one thing thinking you shouldn't have it, but it's another thing when you're up here. Oh, oh my gosh. Fake chicken. Ooh, ah, ooh. They have tonkatsu. Only two dollars. Oh, like a nice little rice bowl. That's not bad. Actually, I'm gonna eat here. It looks quite good, actually. It's more normal types of food than you know, what you would find at your street vendors. Oh. Is that... Oh. Alright guys, I'm gonna sign off. And then I will get back to you with what our choice is to eat. <laughs> it's gonna take a while for me to choose. So I'm getting 200 baht. On this food card, very standard to do this at food courts, but we, we, we're not gonna use all of it. But 200 is usually a safe amount for me to get where I don't have to go back in case I start craving something else. Uh, I guess we could, you know, drink our coconut juice, but I saw that there was a sugarcane juice place that was featured on Channel 3 and Channel 5. So I want to give this a try. Darn, now there's a long line. So check this out, guys. 
All right, so we're getting one of these really big cups and we're gonna share it. The sugar cane juice for 40 baht, which is a little over one dollar. Not too bad. Ah, okay, uh, oh, so I have to pay. Cup and grow. Mmm. Thank you. Oh, delicious. Thank you. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is really good. This is really good, babe. They can't see me. I need to see, see your reaction. Is it good, right? It's not too sweet. It's like just right. It is really sweet. It's, <laughs> it's sweet, but it's like a good sweet, you know? It's natural. It doesn't have uh, that, I don't know, I generally, some sugar cane juices, they have this weird aftertaste, but no, this is really this good. Keep the sweetness first, and it disappears. All right, so we're gonna get the rice with pork leg for Mayu. That's what she wants. She gets what she wants. <laughs> then I'm gonna keep it Korean and go with this karakage and fried pork steak, 80 baht okay. with rice. Oh, okay, thank you. You prepped it all over there, fresh. It's all good. All right, guys, apparently I grabbed the wrong one. This looks much more delicious for... <laughs> $2.30. No, I grabbed the wrong person's plate. But look, oh, you got the eggs, you get the little pork steak thing, and then the karakage, which is a chicken in Korean sauce. Yeah. And my use all together for about. All right, sorry about that. I had to do some math. Uh, all this for about $6, right? <laughs> Not bad. $3 per person. rush hour Ugh. okay so basically put all the heavy not very fragile items in this big Amazon grocery bag uh, Mayu is carrying the two plastic bags of uh, oh okay we're having a shoe of chips, potato chips, super light. Oh my gosh. Ugh. They should probably do something about that entrance, people not parking there. Oh well, anyways. And I have uh, the fragile items, which are the eggs in my backpack. Uh, where, where's our, I think it's around here somewhere. This is always a problem. You need to have like some kind of identifying thing on your motorcycle. In my case, I'm looking for a green helmet. We... Yeah, what happened to our motorcycle? Uh, I don't know. Well, we walked, we went in and we parked right around there. Oh, it's over there, I see it. I see it. Wait. Uh, it's a bit hectic. But it is what it is. All right. So, you'll see that it goes right there. It goes right in between. It's wedged in between here, so there isn't an issue. And, uh, you know, in the beginning I was very afraid that it's gonna fall out or something, but nope, it's not really gonna fall out. It's wedged in quite tightly. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Just take these out. <gasps> Ooh, where is my keys? <laughs> my keys. Okay, I found it. Uh, cannot be panicking out here because it's hot. <laughs> oh, this is the moment I hate the most because there's all this exhaust everywhere, heat. Oh. All right, get on, babe. Oh, what are you doing? Oh shit, I realized that the camera is now going to have an issue. Okay. Because basically what happens is Mayu puts that backpack on her lap. And that's why... Uh, we have the camera facing downwards. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you think we're crazy for putting groceries in our motorcycle? Let's see, nothing compared to that family. Uh, it's good. Oh, okay. Couple grab. So it's free. The signage here is all in uh, Thai, but just sort of follow the arrows. You can figure it out. All right. Well, anyways. Oh. Oh. The shocks. I don't know where the sound comes from recently. That. So basically, the front shocks are not that good. So then. Uh, when it goes in and it pops out, it just boom, like that. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Anything you want to say, babe? I want to go massage you. I want to go massage you. But yes, uh, if you in hope you hope, hope you, you enjoyed, enjoyed the, the vlog. vlog. <laughs> thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Yeah. On your room, yogi kachi. On your room, yogi kachi. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other additional, you know, topics you want me to cover, the reason I did this vlog is because one of the viewers commented on our video that she would like to know how groceries are done. So that's why I did it. Definitely uh, comment in our video and let us know if there's anything else you want to know. Uh, and we will try to make a video about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, yeah, because the gas station I want to go to is over here, although it's sort of a roundabout way. Okay, all right, guys, I have to focus on the road. I came this way. Have to look both ways. And then I end up in front of Cambodian embassy. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know if you remember Yes. I remember. Yeah. This is the way I took. Alright guys, whatever the case. Have a great week and see you next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Gas is a bit expensive today. I've never paid over uh, 70 before. <laughs> really, was really empty? Yeah, maybe. I paid 89 last time. Oh yeah? Maybe gas prices have went up. But it was really empty. It's almost. Yeah, it's, uh, but when we complain about the prices, it's only about 30 cents more. <laughs> it's almost nothing. Uh-uh. How -uh. oh, easy, Pat? Easy, Pat. <laughs> Sometimes I have to explain that all the time, you know, we want even change because I don't want the coins. <laughs> They'll return you the 10 baht and give you another 10 baht more. Air? Air. Air. Ah, cup and cup. The reason I like to go to uh, Shell gas stations though is they fill up the air for you and all that. 
but oh, there wasn't gonna be one on the way. Thanks again guys for checking out this video. If this is your first time, be sure to check out our channel for more vlogs released Saturdays and our longer discussion and walking videos released Wednesdays. I've color coded our main vlogs with the black sidebars as opposed to our longer form discussion or walking videos with pink or no sidebars for your convenience. Be sure to also check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to keep up to date and communicate with us and remember we also have our second channel Traveling Asia that's dedicated to our international travels as well.